What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Yeah? Yeah. I, lo- I love when podcasts start when it's like not when it's not supposed to be started yet. All right. So we're just going to leave all this in? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> For the Patreon people. <laughs> All right. It makes yeah. it real, you know? Okay. It makes it human. It makes it all right. All right, word. Well, what's up, guys? Uh we found out that Charlie D'Amelio is a fan. <laughs> uh, apparently the uh the yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we'll we're going to have to atone for that. Yeah, so sorry. Fire about, bath. Sorry about we, roasting your dad we, so we, hard. We gave them, yeah. Our bad. Our bad, yeah. I mean, it was your, mostly your dad. My, yeah. It's mostly your dad, but it's also our bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's our bad. Okay, it's all your dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just say you know, like, I'm gonna stand by what I said before. I tell it to his face. Hey man, you want to be on the internet? Anybody could get it. Wait, also he did we talk about this? He's like rich as fuck somehow. Yeah, yeah, he's like running for like senate and his local, and they're like, it's not even. Yeah, I'm just saying, trying. bad bad person that you know, I did to <laughs> to harp on for half an hour. Yeah, I mean, we said <laughs> when, this is like the shit thing. It's like it's like a curse. Everything we say we're not gonna do, we end up doing. Like let's yeah. let's not torch him again. Well, but I you have, know his fucking haircut. That shit stinks, <laughs> and we'll just do that for like half an hour. Well, this is a fucking. It seems to be a trend for us, right? What we talk about some shit, and then it starts weirdly starts happening more. Yeah, or or whatever it may be, and and it's not, I'm not saying it's it's our influence that makes this happen because nobody sees this shit <laughs> yeah. at first because it's on Patreon, right? Right, right. So like the public is seeing us talk about this shit a week late, uh, like a week too late. Yeah, but yet this shit keeps happening. The yes. Peloton shit, yeah, Peloton went totally viral yesterday. Yeah, and you know everyone like, and their fucking mom was making fun of that video. And what's wild is, um, yeah, we should have we should have promoted that. You know what, what do you mean? I, we like we 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 gotta live people know that we're not a fucking week late on this stuff you know what i mean yeah yeah like you know, we're well, like i said before we got our dicks on the pulse we got our dicks on the pulse I mean, yeah. that's a horrible <laughs> <laughs> we got our penises on the pulse sounds, sounds like harvey weinstein would say <laughs> don't, don't say that dicks on the pulse dicks on the pulse i don't know man it just it just feels i mean we got our we got our tips on the pulse. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Could be fingers. Could be fingers. Could be. Could, could be, be your nose. Could be your nose. Tip, tip of your nose. Yeah, yeah. Could be the tip of your toes. <laughs> we got our toes on the pulse. We got our toes on. I like that. I like that too. We got our toes on the pulse. Because it happened again <clears throat> with this with this piss thing. Oh yeah. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. The Peloton bike, real quick. You know, after that ad came out. Their fucking their share price dropped nine percent. What? Yeah, it hit the shitter because it's so funny because the ad was so bad. Yeah, people sold shares. <laughs> it bounced back, but it's not like it's not like where it was. But they just took a massive hit off that goofy oh ass ad. Oh my god! Serves them right. Whatever agency, agency they hired to do that or marketing person shit. wasn't in charge of that. Oh, got f- fired. fired to fuck. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got. You're toasted. <laughs> Succession <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. Get the fuck out. You know what my favorite part of your job is? The part where I get to kick you out. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh, okay, Dad. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Dad. I'm going to shove cocaine in my ass. and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Do you want a foot massage or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, Can Dad. I suck your toes? Would you like that? I'm sorry, Dad. Do you want to fist me with a, a spiked gauntlet? <laughs> Anything you want, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. I love you, Papa. <laughs> I love you, Papa. You're my favorite Papa Smurf. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> go watch Succession go if you haven't. I'm going to go smoke some meth. I love you, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this piss thing. Yeah, so this ha- this happened like two days ago. We just, we just started a trend of... Not- Nah, it's the news. It's the news capitalizing on on body fluid attacks. That's all it is. And I don't want to talk about this stuff. You know, yeah, we don't. I don't want to talk about our excrement. We don't want to. We don't. We don't. Like, we don't. Like today, we're definitely not going to talk about shit of any kind. No. 
No. Not even diarrhea. No, not not, not even. I'm I'm talking about like no no hot diarrhea. It doesn't matter what form the shit comes in. No, it doesn't matter if it's hot diarrhea or Lincoln room log. temp. Yeah, or like a, yeah, a solid log for example. Yeah, like you know you've been eating vegan for a while, so your f- poops are nice and firm. Yeah, you know vegan not, vegan makes firm. Poop? I'm assuming you know. <laughs> I don't think Chick Fil A so. makes it. Bleh. Okay. All right. So I'm sure. saying like you eat vegan. Yeah, you, know, you, you get eat it healthy nice, and healthy. firms it up nice, like a lot of fiber. Healthy vegan shit. But we're not gonna talk about it. No, we're not. No, definitely not. But piss. But piss, however, piss is on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> this is on the menu. This is a. This is posted on NY Post. Highly contagious urine forces evacuation of movie theater showing Frozen Two. Hold up, New York Post. Is it even real? I don't know. I like this website though. <laughs> Why? It's. <laughs> Because it's like a tabloid. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, man. If Isn't this, it? Is this the one with the red header? Yeah. yeah, it is. This fucking, this website is full of shit. <laughs> this website Wait, is- Wait, what a, was that first one? This website is a hot diarrhea of a website. Is a hot diarrhea of a website. Can I even speak anymore? Driver begs man not to jump off bridge in the most Brooklyn way possible. Yo, get the fuck <laughs> off the bridge, B! <laughs> That's all it was. <laughs> Yo, Dukes, get off the fucking bridge. <laughs> he knows him. No, oh, just Duke. Duke is like, bro. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Dukey, get off the bridge, bro. <laughs> it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, dog. I think about it all the time. Don't do it. <laughs> He's honking at him. Eh, eh, eh. All right, let's see what he actually said. What he actually said. If this is like even 10 seconds of a fucking... Host speaking, I'm closing it. it oh, Boss. it goes straight to the video. You get the Boss, walk you're back. right. What I say? What I say? Holy shit. Boss, get the fuck off. Walk, walk back. Walk back. <laughs> walk back. It's not worth your life. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> come, fucking come on, man. Run me my bread, bro. Get off the bread. <laughs> it's not worth it, bro. <laughs> it's not worth it. You can do it. You can change anything in your life. <laughs> As he's driving by, this got to be. Know, he's like slowly peeling away. This would make me actually do it. Anything, bro. Anything. Just, just stop, Turn man. Around. Turn around, bro. You can change anything in your life. Anything. Turn around. It's not worth it. Turn around, bro. You can change anything in your life. Damn, dude. And it worked. That's crazy. <laughs> it worked. Wow. It worked. <laughs> I am thoroughly I mean, impressed. Fuck, that like actually kind of like touched me. Spoke to you a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, it's honest. It's not bullshit. It's yeah. Not, it's not the rock giving you a speech. It's it doesn't matter what works, you know? He fucking got that guy off the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. Don't do it. The fuck you doing? Meet me down there at my fucking place in Jersey. I give you a nice <laughs> cannoli, and and I'll s- <laughs> and I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some head. My head. I give you a head full of lettuce. Trust me, I <laughs> I can suck some dick. <laughs> I've been known to suck a good dick. <laughs> and then while he's sucking his dick, hey man. <laughs> Hey, you heard of these uh, diarrhea attacks? Shit's getting out of hand. <laughs> All right, here's the urine thing. <laughs> That's the one that grossed you out? Oh, man. Oh, right. I was this, like, I don't yeah. know. Uh, a package of human urine marked highly contagious forced the evacuation of a Washington State movie theater showing Frozen 2 on Friday. You know, every time. What is I- highly contagious urine? Uh, I thought urine was sterile. No, no it's a myth. That's not a myth. Let's, yeah, well, I love this. I love having the computer. Urine sterile myth. You can't search Urine myth because then it's going to say it's a fucking myth. Sciencenews.org. This is legit. <laughs> this is super Science legit. New- Science news. <laughs> Urine is not sterile. Even Real verified science facts yeah. dot net. <laughs> All right. This is how you verify. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, not that I go on Reddit, but I realize anytime you want any real info or any real 
link yep. Yep. that's you know yep. unobstructed by ad spend yeah or by referral links you just put reddit on yep. the end yep it's incredible it really yep. is it's the new search engine yeah it's crazy yeah damn are you selling reddit to me right now <laughs> what is a reddit uh, i'm not sure what that is not familiar <laughs> urine can be sterile but in in wheeler uh wheeler with three e's wheeler's experience it's rarely it, it, it ever is um a healthy and hydrated person who cleans their ex- external genitalia and discards the first bit of. Oh, okay, well then I'm I'm out. Urethral mine's messed up. Sludge. You have to clean your external <laughs> genitals. <laughs> then mine's fucked up. Yeah, my, <laughs> supposed to your internal genitals. <laughs> I clean the inside. <laughs> I clean the inside of my Q-tip. Yeah. Everyone's like, go back to the diarrhea. How did you manage to be worse? Urethral sludge has got to be the worst phrase. That's my rap name. Yo, what up? <laughs> Urethral sludge, sludge in, his, in his bitch. Gang, gang. You'd, you'd have to make the grimiest music to pull out oh, that yeah. name. Yeah, yeah. L- UK grime beats, but not style. It's yeah. like that type of beat, and it's just the, the most horrible rap. Urethral Graphic. sludge. Yeah, urethral sludge. Ugh. Did you ever listen to Necro? You ever heard of this dude? No. Yeah. Like I wasn't necrophilia? Like, I mean, yeah, I think so, yeah. Ugh. I mean, I, I didn't listen to like a ton of his music. I, like He'd feature on tracks I listen to every now and then. I listen to a couple of his albums just out of curiosity. That is like graphic rap. Dude. Really? Like brutal. Like... <sighs> Like what? Like like we're talking, uh, just whatever you could imagine. Whatever you think a dude named Necro raps about, you're probably gonna get some part of it right. Like remember, like those heavy those heavy metal bands called like there's one Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. Or no, the real the real one was <clears throat> Aborted Fetus or some shit like that. Oh, I mean, like pig squealing type shit. Yeah, but they're just like as crude as possible. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Ne- Necro was a uh, yeah, go check it, check check that shit out, guys. If you want some like graphic rap, you, you know, there's no. I've never heard a rap song or song in hip hop and been like, "This needs parental advisory." <laughs> but Necro, that as like an adult, I was like, "This needs parental advisory." <laughs> and that was like, you know, that was, actually that was like in high school. High school, I was like, "Damn, this is this is some dark shit right here." You I know. was thinking there isn't a, there isn't enough rap about <clears throat> fucking dead people. <laughs> oh, there is. <laughs> yeah, let's look at Necro's discography right here. That's what rap is missing, you know? <laughs> look, look, this is a shitload of it. What are what are his albums called? Uh, I Need Drugs, <laughs> Death Rap, Gory Days. Gory Days is one of the albums I'm like familiar with. Uh, I Need Drugs is a sick name. For yeah, the prefix for death, die, the sexorcist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Street Vill- Villains Volume 1 and 2, The Notorious Goriest. Um, the Art of Dying, the Murder Kill Kill album, or okay, yeah. So you know, he makes beats too. We can rap over some necro beats. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah, he don't give a fuck, dude. Anyways, um, yeah, piss, piss. Yeah, no, uh, I'm not. So, I'm yeah, not... Frozen Two is a really funny like movie theater to to <laughs> leave your messed up piss. <laughs> That's why I just don't believe this story. Who's leaving a bucket of pee in a Frozen 2 movie? I don't know, but this these excrement attacks have to stop. Yeah, no more. No more. Stop doing it. It's uh, Keep the poo-poo in the, in the <laughs> poo-poo room. I, t- I tweeted that. Oh, man. We got a couple funny responses. Someone was saying at our next show, we got to run out on stage with buckets. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I saw that. I was dying, dude. <laughs> Just the music plays, front rows, super excited, <laughs> and we just come out with a construction bucket. They're like, no. And yellow hazmat yeah. suits or whatever, <laughs> and the stay safe suits. <laughs> and we're holding the buckets like, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the splash zone. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, Anyways, man. What's been going on? Um, <laughs> You all right? You look tired. I'm just tired. Yeah. I'm really tired. Yeah, I feel it. I, well, I just realized there's a giant fucking hole in my crotch. <laughs> look, man, you don't gotta... Don't look at my balls, We please. know We know you put that hole in your pants on purpose, dude. You don't have to... Have some decency, You don't people. have to call it out, brother. No, I need a new pair of pants. Um, 
What the f- I was reading something this week that I was like, holy fuck. Um, entertain the people while I look it up. Um, yeah, I've been, I've just been uh, not sleeping very much. <laughs> just thinking about global warming. <laughs> it's been stressing me out. Dude. Cool. It yeah. actually does fucking stress me out. Global warming? Yeah. yeah. Often. It, I'm, I'm, I keep thinking, I'm like, why the fuck yeah. would I ever like have kids? You know? Oh, because they're, got, yeah. It's fucked. We're yeah. fucked. Yeah, it's so fucked, dude. It actually, it actually like, it does, I, I'd make a lot of jokes about it, but it, it does concern the shit of, out of yeah. me as well. <laughs> it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like, it's legitimately scary. Yeah, I know. It, it, I turned on, <clears throat> like, on Spotify, there's like the Daily Drive. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just did say? I say this? Maybe. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did. A while ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a while ago. But can I say this is how you know we're like <laughs> the ability to cope is fading a little bit because normally like global warming. Oh, fuck it. You know, we sit here and talk about cum and piss and shit. <laughs> Ten minutes in, we're like the earth's on fire, <laughs> and it's fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's scary. I mean, it, it's scary, man. I think about it all the time. <clears throat> yeah, I just think, uh, how do you? At least in LA, you know, carbon footprint is awful, and you see it. You look at all these fucking cars. There's one person in every car. It's so dumb. Yeah. So many of these people are going to the same fucking place. Yeah. And it's it's so useless. Yeah, like I could have picked you up today. You could have. <laughs> Truthfully, you could have. We probably should start doing that. Yeah. Even though it's, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, nah. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, uh, to, sorry to bum you out if that. Because, <laughs> hey, you know what it is? You were the one who fucking brought it up. Yeah, I know. It is, it is my fault. L- <laughs> you know what it is, though, in LA? is No one wants to look like a bum. Mm-hmm. So even having a shitty car is better than riding shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to look like a fucking bum. Yeah. No, I got a car. I, I, I don't need no ride. <laughs> I can drive myself. I can drive myself, bitch. I took the fucking city bus all through high school, so I don't ever want to be on public transportation again. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was, oh, bro, that shit was horrible. Mm-hmm. People would be like, yo, we're going to this place. I'd be like, dope, I'll see you there in two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> the city bus is so whack because you like be on it and the place you want to go is like maybe three blocks away. And like, but you can't get off because there's no stop at the at that point. Oh yeah. So you just have to watch it through the window and then like just go <laughs> around the town. You're like, yeah, hands up against the glass, like, <sighs> yeah, it's just ah! fogging fogging up the glass. Yeah. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'll see you soon. And all your friends are there. And yeah. then by the time you show up, everyone's dapping each other up in the parking lot. You're like, what's going on? They're like, oh, we're we're leaving, yeah. man. We were just hanging for like hours. Where you, were you? Yeah. Why we do you thought, smell like shit too? Yeah. What you just got here? What the fuck were you doing? <laughs> fucking. The fuck? Here's something that fucking happened what? this week was the London Bridge attacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buddy, uh, dude ran at the attacker with a narwhal tusk. I just want to say that, yeah. Hard as fuck, bro. Members of the public with nothing but a narwhal tusk. That is. The most British thing ever. Yeah. And a fire extinguisher <laughs> tackle a murderous terrorist. <laughs> So they were like, this guy was on the London Bridge stabbing people. He killed two people, I think. Fuck off, dude. And and he was wearing a fake, a counterfeit suicide vest. That's nuts. So these guys didn't know that the vest was fake. And one of the guys is spraying him down with a fire extinguisher. Okay. As the other guy is, I guess, jabbing him. Sword fighting with a, with with a narwhal a, tusk. With a narwhal tusk. Not a bad weapon, bro, because you know it's not a bad weapon at it's all. It's dense but, as fuck and it's long. Yeah. So Buddy can't get close. I just feel like he was definitely, you know, he was having tea in some, like afternoon tea in some cafe nearby or something like that. And they had like a narwhal <laughs> tusk on the wall. Because doesn't that just sound like something Extremely that would be in London? British, yeah. yeah. So British, like. Yeah. And like a musket or something. <clears throat> you know, they say that this tusk is actually what inspired Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Moby Dick. <laughs> runs on the bridge. Get him. That that is insane, man. World's getting um, world's getting intense. I mean, nah, knife attacks have just been a thing in Europe, at least London for a minute. Yeah. So, um, on on a lighter note, you know, if you've ever 
<clears throat> felt like you need a little bit of Jesus in your life. I love this picture of BTS that you have. Yeah, I always use this. People think it's like an accident, and it's not. <laughs> Look at my boy <laughs> wait, right wait, here. Did you screenshot that guy? What was yes, that guy's yes, tweet? Yes, yeah. Oh, my no. God. We were talking. We know. We know. I'll tell you after. Okay, all right. It's not. We know some. I guess we know someone that, that. I don't know. <laughs> Sure. You know, Ke what's the fucking Kevin Bacon seven? Yeah, seven. Separation yeah, seven degrees of separation. I'm like two separate, two degrees of separation away from that dude. Oh, word. So should we not clown him? No, let's clown him for sure, dude. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> these are all your favorite TikTok boys right here. <laughs> this is me. Is this BTS? Yeah, it is. Oh wait, nah. The other no. This is like NC whatever. No, nah, this is BTS. This is BTS dash MMA right there. Cheatsheet.com, bro. Dude, I was watching whatever that one's called. NC whatever. NC. I don't know. There's some Korean <laughs> band that sounds like it's just like a like a MacBook serial number or something like that. It's okay. like NC four or five. Yeah, seven, eight. I mean their names have always been crazy like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's like twenty dudes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's that, crazy. The, How did they get paid even? I, I don't know. That part blows my mind. I was I was talking about this a little bit on stream, which is like K-pop like budget in general is fucking huge. I don't know where they get it. Like all their music videos are minimum 150k, 200k. The label, yeah, but it's like what the f how much like consumption is really going on there? I mean, it's fucking insane. Yeah. It's like it's like Spanish shit at the same time. Yeah, or, actually, like, yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. Like no, they're just right. they're just at a bigger mm -hmm. tier, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> K-pop groups are always. Always kill me. The only ones I actually know is uh uh God damn it. No hold on. No, that ain't it. Wonder Girls. It's like a like nineteen it's like ten of them in a group. It, it, like every K pop group in my opinion or like my that I've ever seen is yeah, it's like twenty people and the names just get shorter. Yeah. It's like the inverse, it's like a yeah, serial number or it's like, oh yeah, do you listen to T T H X. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, it's like third or three hundred <laughs> girl. It's a whole high school. Yeah. That's a K pop group. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Anyways, this is uh <laughs> This is so good, dude. So this guy does he's basically like a kind of like a motivational type dude. Yeah. He's like one of these like guys that's like a self proclaimed alpha male. Right. And he wants to show you how you can have Right. Incredible confidence. Yo, dude, stand up straight. Yeah. Is that his? Sort of. But I, th I feel like it's more of like a, a um, more of like a meditative, like be in the right head state, eat well, like be a, uh, okay. be a great man. You know? Okay, got it. Got that it. sort of thing. Got it. It's not like buy my courses and I'll show you how to whatever. Uh, it's like, it's, it's about like, like sayings and philosophy. And, yeah, I think and, so. And looking in the mirror. And, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. That's my impression. Uh, thus far, I was only on his Twitter like one time. <laughs> One of the advantages of being ridiculously good looking is that it triggers other men into viciously hating you. <laughs> it a red hot ember pressed into every physical insecurity. Hence why I weaponize my image. <laughs> it, it. What? Bro, like just fucking proofread one time before you fire off a controversial tweet like this. Hence why I weaponize my image. I'm assuming he didn't mean to put it into being mimetically unforgettable man and then mimetically unforgettable then, dude, dude the best part about it is that he posts the most average fucking selfie <laughs> i know <laughs> if you gotta if you're gonna fire off a tweet like that you that gotta picture. back that shit up yeah. with fucking gold you know have someone edit it <laughs> like you gotta look good as yeah, fuck yeah you have you have and this shit yeah, my man look regular as hell. Dude, my he man just, just got the like sunlight. It's like golden hour in, in Hawaii or some shit. I know, and he looks extra red too. <laughs> he looks like he, he looks like holding he's his on, breath too long. Yeah. My like man. that's like the pre dinner. You yeah. know, he's getting dressed up, about to go meet his family. Also family what, vacation. What kills me about this image is like um <laughs> is that the way he hit the the I don't know, like <laughs> I don't know what's up with his neck. <laughs> But there's no detail. So it just looks like his head like sitting on like a worm. You know what I mean? Like there's no Adam's apple. It's like nothing. It's just like it's like two dimensional. Why are you so wet, homie? <laughs> <laughs> Dude.
this dude looks like the guy from that fucking <laughs> from that fucking Skyrim TikTok. The goddamn dude is like <laughs> you know the fucking you know the guy <laughs> which one? Which the one? Shit I sent the other the day. The mercenary shit? Yeah. You ever think about doing mercenary work? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, what did he say twice? What do you want? Yeah. Hey. He's like, hey. Can I help you can with I, something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> can I help you with something? <laughs> we can pull that up after the fucking. Break. Can I help you with something? My man definitely looks like he forges steel for six hundred co- uh, silver pieces. Yeah, the, this, this guy looks like he auditioned for some role on Game of Thrones and yeah. he wasn't even close to getting. It. <laughs> he walked in. They're like, no. And they're like, no. <laughs> no. They had to like do his agency a favor by even letting him <laughs> come in the room. Do you think this is the shit he, he tells? Do you think this is the shit he tells women? He's like, he just walks up to him. He's like, are you afraid? <laughs> what? By my weapon. Do you feel, <laughs> yeah. do you feel those red hot embers? Burning in the other men in this room. <laughs> my image is weaponized mimetically and it's unforgettable. She's like, oh my God. Yes, it is. Yeah. Do me now. <laughs> my was... face. It's a weapon. <laughs> what? My face. It's a weapon. <laughs> Are you threatening me? <laughs> you see this? It's illegal in 39 states. It's the black belt of faces. I have this insured. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <clears throat> that, what, what kills me also is this dude talks like the architect from the Matrix. <laughs> like, wait, can you go to, go to his Twitter and see if we can, pull, see if we can get a sense of... Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what mimetically means yeah so i looked up mimetic and it just goes relating to constant what is that habitually practicing mimesis yeah mimesis yeah am i am i'm stupid is this wide range of meaning what constituting i'm i'm an idiot mimesis (laughs) representation or imitation of the real world in art and literature (laughs) so it's what (laughs) So it's uh, unforgettable in that it represents what? It's a representation or imitation of the real world in art and literature. So he's saying. So his face is so good. That you think it's art. Yeah, it's almost like you remember it as an art piece rather (sighs) as opposed to something in real life. Got it. Yeah. That's hard as hell, dog. Yeah. You know what, man? I'm going to paint you. <laughs> yeah. I want to see someone do like a really bad, really bad version. Of, you know how people just do purposely bad art? Like do this guy's face in paint and send it to us. <laughs> I want to just tweet the exact same shit. <laughs> of his fucking face. And then, and then we'll just, you know. Dude, this guy looks like he's just like, like he's got this look that he's just like Gladiator 48. Yeah. In I, some movie, you know? I guess in that way, it is mimetically unforgettable. Bro, I turn on the, um, the screen is yellow, and I'm going to get sleepy looking at my fucking... On your Mac? Bitch. On my Mac, yeah. Um, Go to his Twitter. This is, this is another two guys on the, on the computer episode. <clears throat> Asia Cortez. I just completely... Yeah, died. see, mentality equals physicality. <clears throat> Strength, masculinity. Uh, uh, <laughs> His face is killing me, dude. That's a fun- <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, my man's is my man's is the shit. Look at my boy right here. <laughs> Look at my boy. When you die, this is literally what you see. <laughs> our boy right here we should get him on the podcast yeah, seriously get him to teach us about manliness and i would i would do that for sure <laughs> yeah i'm good I, I would fucking do that i'd love to talk to this guy let's read uh, let's see let's read some more tweets here men need other men for role models okay. a woman cannot be a role model for men on how to, to be, be a, a man. man at best she's an anti-model that tests and reveals him I talk about this in depth in today's newsletter oh he's got a newsletter ah Oh, you got to subscribe. Let's see what his students say. Um, When I discovered you, I was a skinny distance runner. Through your programming and email list, I learned how to build muscle in and out of the gym, (laughs) stay injury-free while doing it, and enhance my overall well-being. Thanks again, my man. (laughs) 
Oh man, two forty-five to one ninety-five pounds. Still, oh maybe so. Maybe he is kind of like a buy yeah. my courses. No, he definitely is. There's no way he's not. He's like a trainer too. Yeah, I see. Look at our boy right here. <laughs> so my man deep fried his I just picture. Say, he just filtered it more. <laughs> he just deep fried his picture. Get out of here. This is how everybody looks in the mirror. This is how actually everybody looks. <laughs> Unless you're a fucking bodybuilder, man. This is so funny. My man is like gonna shit himself in this picture. This shit is crazy, dude. <clears throat> yeah. Deep fried the image with some spray tan. Hey, whatever, man. Go get you a fellas, go get you some strength and masculinity. Go get you some Yeah. Go get in touch with your inner man. Yeah. Build some fucking muscle boys. Create something mimetic. Uh, what what do we at? What do we at so far? Sorry, man, I, I, I forgot to turn on my thing. Fuck if I know. You know me, man. I go forever. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's about time that uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that we discuss really where what, the fuck where the fuck is Putin at? I mean, it's just a big problem right now. We can't find this guy. Totally. Not all clothes are fit for everyone, okay? With Stitch Fix, your personal stylist will send you clothing that makes you look your best. Less one size fits all, more this fits your style bars. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door. To get started, go to stitchfix.com slash TMG, answer some questions about your preferred style, and your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. With Stitch Fix, everyone can look their best. They have solutions for men, women, and kids all over the U.S. And now, the U.K. Wow. Welcome to Stitch Fix, bro. Welcome to Stitch Fix, brother. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash TMG and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in <clears throat> your box. That's stitchfix.com slash TMG. Stitchfix.com slash TMG. Keep everything in in your box in your box um ladies and gentlemen we also want to thank the very lovely uh honey book you know if you've ever started your own business you're your own boss right mm. but, but along with being your own ceo you're also the accountant you're the marketing manager you're the creative director the executive assistant and many more titles if you don't do it it doesn't get done and if you need help doing it uh, all you need is honey book man HoneyBook is an online business management tool that organizes your client communications, bookings, contracts, and invoices all in one place. It's perfect for freelancers, entrepreneurs, or small business owners that want to consolidate services they already use, like QuickBooks, Google Suite, and Excel. With HoneyBook, you can automate your busy work. They have easy-to-use templates for emails, proposals, brochures, and invoices. Simplify your to-do list and stay in control with HoneyBook. Uh, and right now, HoneyBook is offering our listeners 50% off when you visit honeybook.com slash tiny, <clears throat> payment is flexible, and this promotion applies whether you pay monthly or annually. So go to honeybook.com slash tiny for 50% off your first year. That's honeybook.com slash tiny. One more time, honeybook.com slash tiny. And I was just talking about the fact that I need new pantalones. Yeah? Um, I do, pantalones. because these are ripped as fuck, and I have this giant hole in my crotch which yeah. is actually pretty convenient when i want to let my giant balls hang out and get some air <laughs> but, but it's not convenient for everyone else not convenient, yeah. that's against the law it's against the law yes yeah, people decency. on the podcast don't want to watch my balls <laughs> um or maybe they do who knows Unlikely, but regardless but, yeah. i need yeah. some new pants yeah my, and so i might look into some uh, a pair of mugsy jeans okay mugsy jeans are the most comfortable men's jeans ever made that's no exaggeration. Mugsies are real jeans that literally feel as comfortable as sweatpants. The magic is in Mugsies proprietary fabric, which include a blend of high-tech materials that make these jeans mind-blowingly soft and flexible. Best of all, Mugsies come in a stylish fit that's not too baggy, but, but not too tight. So, uh, so you, you look even better than you feel, and you'll feel fucking great in these things. If you want comfortable jeans that look good, Mugsy jeans are for you. The guys at Mugsy jeans are so confident that you'll love them, they offer free USA shipping and returns, so your comfort is 100% guaranteed. Do your legs a favor. Grab your own pair of the jeans that are sweeping the nation by heading to Mugsy.com. That's M-U-G-S-Y.com and use code TMG for $10 off. Again, that's Mugsy.com and use code TMG for $10 off. I just want to say I've found two YouTube channels that I fucking love right now. Okay. <clears throat> One of them is called Street Beefs. What's that? It is... The best fu it is that like sort of um like uh like different kinds of street meat. Yes, no, 
Okay. Yeah. No, it's, nah. a, it's a food show. No. It's uh, a. <laughs> it's Mark Weens. It's Mark Weens. Yeah. Yeah. But just he only eats meat. <laughs> that guy. Oh man, did you see that thing I put on my store the other day? Of him just Maybe. slurping down a huge shrimp. Okay. Huge. He he takes. He's like, oh man, there's no way you get that all in one bite. But Mark. Mark gets it in one oh, bite. No. Goes, oh no! Oh, you suck that thing oh, down! Just, oh no! And it's it's a big shrimp, bro. I saw it. I was like, Mark, what's your at, bro? <laughs> that was crazy what you just did right there, son. You're like, Ooh. I'm. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't help it. I just covered up the the hair. Yeah, <laughs> Mark, if you're trying to swallow another shrimp. <laughs> Buddy gucked that thing. Hit your boy up. One go. I got the smeat for you. Yeah, yeah. And then him and his boy were were touching shrimp in the sauce. <laughs> oh no! They were were like, they? They're like, oh. and then they went <laughs> touch shrimp. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Come on, son. Yeah, come on. What you doing, bro? <laughs> no, Street Beefs is it's like a felony fights DVD, but it's not felons. It's dudes that want to fight. So it's like organized, and and they fight in like a dirt ring. Like it's like like there's an octagon made of chain link fence. It's with, like Fight Club with wooden boards. Yeah, but uh, it's not like it's not bare knuckle. Okay, so it's like boxers do it, MMA guys do it. Um, Street beefs. Yeah, and uh, the dude, the dude who hosts it, his name is Scarface, and uh, he just refers to himself as Face <laughs> Okay. because he has a bunch of scars, like okay. for real. What I love about his channel, though. Is that he leaves his liked video playlist on, oh, so you get okay. the full scope of what he's into. <laughs> okay, Street Beefs is like <clears throat> it. It reminds me of when I. That's all I used to do on YouTube. Is I just go on YouTube and I type in fight, and I would just watch every fucking. There was a point where I had seen every fight video on YouTube. Yeah, like and, Kimbo Slice and shit like that. I mean, just everything. Okay, and and it was funny because me and my boys we like we had seen them all. So it became this thing where we just go home every day and like refresh and see if there's like a new fight video that we hadn't seen. But it gives me that same feel because it's just dudes scrapping in the dirt. It's crazy. And like it, it also kind of speaks. Bring one up. Street beef? Yeah. Dude, I watched this one last night. Th- their names, because they, oh, they're, here's the other thing. Fighting used to be, fight videos on the internet it used to be like, white guy versus mexican you know it was always like hella racial Mm -hmm. (laughs) this shit is like it's the next step all these guys want to be mma stars tapeworm versus b-dance yeah and they have their nicknames this fool's name is tapeworm i was crying dude watch this shit they have like little intros okay peep my man's intro this shit is hard as hell by the way i also looked at this i'm like this is just (laughs) this is just west virginia cody Oh my god, dude! I need that neck no, tat. This is fucking Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's me and it's you and Sam. It's me and Sam combined. Dude, dude that, I need that neck tat. Freedom. freedom, and it's fresh as hell, bro. That's sick. Fresh as hell, bro. Listen. Along the along the t shirt line too. Oh yeah, hard. All right, what do you think he's about to say <laughs> to the camera? Yeah, I have no idea. Like, what do you think he's gonna shout out? Like his city? Like, just give it a give it a guess. Um. Uh, what's up? It's Tapeworm. I'm fighting today for freedom. Okay. Tapeworm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't far off. You weren't. I wasn't far you off. You weren't. Wait, I start. <laughs> Bro. What did he say? He said, wait, do I start? And then it cuts. <laughs> Dude, these two look like default characters in fucking GTA. They do. This shit they do. is so funny. See that Black Widow on his chest? Damn. Hard as hell. B-Dance, Westville, Wisconsin. Get it? <laughs> See, you heard someone in the background? They're like, Wisconsin? <laughs> Is this legal? I don't know. I mean, it must be. It's, or, it's, it's not, I, I don't know if it's sanctioned, but it's like, it's, it's definitely dope as fuck. Okay, keep going. Bro. <laughs> That's Scarface? Yeah. For safe internet browsing. Oh, we're going to skip right past his ad. In this corner, we got tape worm. <laughs> What's He's... You all right? You hear that sound? No. Every time you play something, listen. O and O in Satan's backyard. No. And in this corner, you don't hear that jingling. We got B dance. No. Oh no, you don't. It's it's you gotta. It's outside. It's on the bracket. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. 
backyard. Be safe, fellas. Fight hard. Fighters come in. Whatever you wrote for you. Understand? You understand? Oh my god, this guy's just wearing his high school gym shorts. Yeah, bro, like, they, they... Dude, some of these guys, like, they take it... You'll see in this one. We're not gonna watch the whole thing, but... They take it to the ground, like, in, in a lot of these fights, and they're, like, they're fucking grappling in the dirt. And you see guys, like, they're just on their stomach, like, fighting oh, a rear a naked. Yeah, just, dirt. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, they get busy, man. This shit... This fight was crazy. I could not believe... Why wouldn't they put a fucking mat down or something? <sighs> Because it's just part of it? I think it's part of it. That's kind of why I you like ready? it. You ready? Let's fight! This is a tough scrap, dude. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what does the referee do? Oh, they actually ref it. Do they? Yeah, they do a pretty good job. Oh my god! I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right here. Y'all need to go finish that fight, dude. I'm telling you, these fights you you would think they're garbage. They're mad entertaining, and some of these guys are actually very good. Yeah, very. Those good. Those two guys didn't. Were they good? I mean, uh, didn't really see, seem like there was much. I don't know shit, but didn't really seem like there was much technique there. Kind of. I mean, like, like they were they're just fucking. They're they're definitely like. Here's the thing: when you compare it to like pro MMA fighters, like MMA, like most guys in the ufc like that's like the top top tier like you i i don't think it's like people talk enough about how high level you have to be in the ufc okay basically i would look at it like as most guys in the ufc they're never going to run at their opponent like that you know without like really knowing what they're doing because like they they have a full fight camp they're training a certain way that that, that first minute is like you're trying to feel out your opponent you're trying to figure out if all that training you did fucking applies okay right this is definitely more of like a like a brawl where they're just like getting just in like, there i'm just gonna beat this guy's ass i would say that b-dance has decent technique because like he's in the pocket and it's very hard to like trade in the pocket okay. like that all right and so uh, he's he's clocking him like if you run that back he hits him with like good three four like knockout hits like <clears throat> and let's and, go B dance. Yeah, the tapeworm gets dropped a bunch in that fight, but you got to watch the whole thing. I mean, is it, it four hundred thousand views on that? Yeah, dang. They're start. They're starting to pop, man. Like, I, actually, I shouldn't say starting to because for a while now they've had like videos like hit a million. But this is what the fucking YouTube fight league should be. <laughs> this is what. That's what I mean. Is like that's what's so funny. Not fucking. Yeah, Logan Paul and and those boys fucking yeah. headgear and gloves and fighting nah. in a stadium this like is, in five months. You yeah, know? no, it should be. You someone's beefing. Go yeah. to this ring. Yeah, just do this. Go tomorrow. to the street beefs ring. Yeah, do it. Yeah, these, I mean every every dude in here. I mean even if they lose, like I give them props because they fight hard as fuck. Dude. <laughs> where, where do you think this is? Oh, with this, they just did in California, like in the desert somewhere. This shit is crazy. Damn. What's the other YouTube channel that you said you were into? Um, I mean, if other people have like mentioned him here. Um, Bald and Bankrupt. What's that? He's like, um, he's a dude. He like got out of a divorce. And I think he's like, li he was literally bankrupt. Like he doesn't have a lot of money. But he, he, he has like a travel channel. But what makes his channel really dope and like genuine is it's not, it's virtually no editing. It's just like, it's just raw footage and then he might like cut because like there's nothing going on. But the way he travels is super interesting. Like he typically doesn't use like a GPS and he, he, he can speak Russian and he can speak um, a little bit of Hindi. So okay. like in, like he'll go to India and, and most recently he's been going to like Soviet countries or like former Soviet countries. But he, for example, he went to a, city called Kalmykia and the way he got there was he just like rented a car and he drove uh, oh no he didn't rent a car he he just walked around the town and he was just asking people how do I get to Kalmykia and then he took like a bus there and then from there he heard about some other like small Soviet town or whatever and so he had a taxi driver take him to the border of this next town drop him off it's literally in like buttfuck nowhere and he just did that just to film himself walking across the border and then he hitchhikes to the town he's trying to get to. Okay. And like he films all his interactions with the people there. And <clears throat> he's like, he's, he's decently knowledgeable about like where he goes. Hmm. So it's How'd like, you find him? Um, I've known about him for a while. Um, 
I watched him like when I was like watching Mark Weens and stuff, like his videos would get recommended to me. And so I don't know. Bald and bankrupt. Yeah. His videos are super interesting to me. Just because like you, you learn a little bit, which is cool. Like, but he also just goes to fucking weird places. (laughs) I think in Kalmykia, he was like just walking around and he fucking, he was like, he's just, he goes, is that, I do think I found a gulag. Like a straight up like gulag, like Russian, any like a like a labor camp. Huh. And he he walks up to it, and then he hard cuts to his hotel, and he's it's like nighttime. He's like, yeah. So I almost got arrested. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. And so he, you know, he like, I don't, I don't think it's bullshit. He, there's no reason for him to lie. Um, so he just travels in a in a cool way. It's cool yeah. when you find people like travel content that's like actually different. Yeah. And actually cool. Like that's what's cool about that I find cool about Yes Theory is that is that they just do really cool shit. Like they they went the most recent video was them going to the the least visited country in the world. Mm. It's it's like a country of like a country of like eleven hundred people or something oh, like that. Damn. And it's this tiny, tiny island that's like gonna be one of the first places that doesn't exist in like twenty years. Oh because wow. of rising ocean levels. Wow. And there's no tourism there, obviously. Yeah. There's no there's no ATM. You can't like everything's cash, but it's like only the cash on the island. So it's just I don't know. But it's kind of fascinating. Like yeah, seeing you... him even try to get there. I don't know. It's cool. That... I love I love shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. So check check those out, guys, if you if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna know what the fuck I'm doing after hours. But <laughs> another channel that I've been really into recently is Brent Rivera. <laughs> In fact, he posted this awesome diss track on his sister on his sister which this dude this is like dude how how, look up how old he is now 20 he's 21 years old yeah and he's still making like middle school to high school content yeah yeah it's kind of got to like eat away at your fucking soul i mean you know there's a part of him that like wants to grow up you know maybe i feel like he it was so much a part of his life. I don't think it, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, th- I think it's hard for him to get his head out of it. Sick, dude. <laughs> I was actually trying to get to, I mean, I was trying to get to this picture. I guess I could have, no, I couldn't have. I don't see. I was right. I was just trying to get a fucking pixel differential on the fucking, like, all right, this is, <laughs> this is like 45 pixels. And then his head is. <laughs> 75 pixels man it's like almost one to one dude that is fucking <laughs> there's half the length of his fucking head <laughs> is it wait no 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 all right okay i can't it's 38 percent of his head <laughs> there is 38 percent of his head <laughs> 38% of your head, face ass. All right, let's see him, like, dog out his sister, which is weird as hell. What's up, little sis? I've had it with you, little pranks. <laughs> Damn, little you, you got him. You fucking got him. It's time to get back at you. Try and top this. I'm about to roast my sister. It's a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> The auto tune the bangs, my man. I'm if, about to roast my sister. It's a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> you know, man, that sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think man. I've. I think. I think this. Yeah, that's I've a read porn this on Pornhub. Yeah, that's a Pornhub <laughs> title right there, man. If there were words, I would never use towards a sibling of the opposite gender. It would be. Bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? It's a bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about... No, I'm not what does that it. even mean in the context of this song? I don't know. You're going to kill her. Bang, bang. Gonna show her why her brother runs the game. <laughs> oh my bang, God, bang. bro. She don't follow, but I'm in the lead. TikTok queen, but she's looking at the king. I'm- why are you eating whipped cream in a diss video against your sister? <laughs> this is so weird. That's a roast, my sister. Take a seat, better pay close attention when I'm on this beat. Cause I always drop fire in your content's week. Only reason you're on YouTube is because of me. You stay on everybody's nerves. My man is like 10 years late to diss tracks. <laughs> like he fucking 
You got to it mad late, B. This is so, this is like the classic first, first rap song flow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the truth just hurts. I know mom and dad say they love you, but I am above you because I was born first. And you're always crushing all my friends. Did you think I didn't notice how you look at Ben? That's just weirdly specific. <laughs> and why are you bigging up your boy? <laughs> you know my boy Ben, who's like mad popular on Instagram? Yeah, I see you wanted to fuck him. Yeah, I know you want to fuck my best friend. <laughs> what? I know you want to fuck him. Dit burn. You just got dissed. <laughs> and you want to fuck my best friend? <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. My cool fucking widely popular best friend. <laughs> Who's also hot? I would know because he's my best friend. I go, only have hot go for best it. friends. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, literally. Fucking this. Fuck my best friend. Yeah, burn. Loser. Ship S.S. Bexy sailing out soon. What? Ship S.S. Bexy sailing out soon. Oh, they sh he shipped them? But I shut it all down when I get out the broom. I'm there. Lexi Rivera, face it, I'm better. Lexi Rivera. Oh, I hate this, man. I hate this, dude. I hate this. I hate the way he's talking to his sister. Why you talk to your sister like this? What the fuck is wrong I with you? I still, I'm still not over the 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 thing with the Ben with Ben. Yeah, yeah. He that's, just said he's gonna sh he ships them, but then he said, but it's all it over when I bring out the broom. It's like no, but you just you just made that happen. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? You just set them up in the song. Just so you can say that you would make it stop? That's weird. I'm going to put y'all in the same room to kiss, but you're not going to kiss. Yeah, because I'm going to be there. With the broom. Big, bad, older bro. This is just... We got to keep watching it. And I leave you destroyed when we play Candyland. Yeah, sometimes I remake your post. Everyone like, dude, says deposit? You're 21. Yeah. You're 21. Yeah. Yeah. Candyland? Yeah. <laughs> you should be out drinking cheap liquor, being broke in the club. Yeah. You should be, you know what I'm saying? At 21, you should be experiencing $200 in your bank account. Yeah. Figuring out how you're going to get this book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you should be out somewhere drinking fucking cheap wine. Yeah. Cheap something. Yeah. And 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 learning how Especially, to Especially he's got money, dude. Yeah, learning how to socialize. It's weird, Don't yeah. Get a table at a fucking club. Yeah, fucking seriously. He's like, that's why I'm doing this. I'm dissing my sister so I can get a table at fucking Encore. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. All right, got it. Yeah, I'm bringing Candyland. Yeah, and we're gonna hang out and play board games in the club. Yeah, what do they do at clubs again? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to one. Yeah, this is this is I mean this is some this is some dark shit, dude. This is just him trying to keep up with who he was. Wait, wait, go back. Well, uh, you want to. Description says By this was just for fun. Lexi is literally the best sister. So no hate. Love you, Lexi. Comment Lexi got dissed. Weird sibling rivalry. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't really like this at all. It kind of gives me the creeps a little bit. I can't not look at this and think it's fucking normal. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like even in the like in what like a diss track is supposed to be like, yo, you got a your hairline look like Albert Einstein, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, I put your toothbrush in the toilet when you was seven. Yeah, and I pooped on it, and I and that was doo doo on that toothbrush, and so literally you could eat my shit, you know. Like it's it supposed was a to be toothbrush. Yeah, it's supposed to be mean, and he's talking about. <laughs> I know you want to fuck my friend Ben. <laughs> I know you want to fuck him. And last thing, I know you want to fuck my best friend. Burn! My hot best friend, Ben. I know you want to fuck him. It's not gonna Honestly, happen. I don't blame you. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And then while we're on the music? topic of YouTube music, <laughs> let's watch the Ace Family's new oh, song. Oh, yeah. How do we even fucking forget about this? I have to see this. Banger alert. How many likes does this have? Five hundred thousand. Okay, so this one, I mean, this one is is you know a little bit better produced than Brent's, yeah. Brent's Wait, song. Should we take a quick second to talk about Copa? Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't feel like anyone's really talked about that. The ad shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it at the end. Okay. Word. Well, it, it, just so y'all know, Copa relates to the Ace Family in the most interesting way. Because 
they're they're the like they're among I would feel like them and I know animation channels are the ones that are immediately afraid, but I feel like they should be just as worried. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> Exploiting my kids for profit. Oh, What's yeah. good? Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> What the motherfuck is this? They also spent like probably 50 grand on this video. No, well, I'll, I'll come to a number afterwards. <laughs> what is with this fucking Snow White? Come to me. Looks like a typical horse name. Balto? That's a dog. We'll go with Balto anyway. <laughs> I love you, Balto. No, this one's name is Whisper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like a proper horse name. For sure. Whisper, Rider. Yeah. David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Steve. James. Yeah, this is my horse, uh, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Good Alan. <laughs> oh, this is Melodyne. <laughs> oh, yeah. And man, lead him fancy close behind. And the fucking individual takes. Oh, yeah. It's just it's one line at a time. They was really working for this song. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. No, dude, that was basically a vocoder. What the fuck? Did he say you, you can, can be, be my cow girl? Oh, Dang cow you, girl. Ryan. I thought he said you can you can be my call girl. No. <laughs> Bro, that was You can be my hooker. Dude, that was Stephen Hawking's talk box right there <laughs> listen to this off. bullshit also first of all they shot this shit in anamorphic <laughs> i know but didn't fucking put it in a 69 ratio video you dumb fucks god damn <laughs> jesus i mean you could leave it this way but it's not you know probably not them that did that it's probably the, the yeah whoever the, yeah. that edited it yeah the people that don't upload to youtube <laughs> i'll run that back Fucking, I'm missing it. <laughs> Save me for Ryan. Say. Dude, like, this was just fucking crafted. Yeah. For TikTok. Yeah. Just like down to the fucking yeah. second, man. Yeah. And Th all this choreography, everything is just. Yeah, trying. It's so to, fucking transparent. Yeah, yeah. People, th kids see through this shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. This this does not resonate. No, and it's like you're way too late on the fucking old town road shit. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean that, that song already got like 15 remixes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Everyone already did their fucking country shit. Yeah. Everybody moved on. That whole country rap's the next big thing that moved on. Yeah. It's already dead. It's also like this has just. This has like high quality songwriter all over it. Yeah, I know. So the, I know. The, like these words are are so like generically, like or like just so universally appealing. Yeah, like er everyone can relate to these words. Yeah, you know, you, you you see something that's just kind of like just overproduced in every regard. Yeah, like there's just teams behind everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. But there's no like, there's almost like no vision. It's just like, no. yeah, we'll fucking chuck a horse in there. Mm -hmm. It's country, right? Horse, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Also, this, one, this fucking wardrobe that's where they went cheap was on the wardrobe <laughs> vans and fur fur collar jean jackets I hate this shit. It sounds so like, it sounds so, ah, like not from them. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I feel like I'm watching a fucking ad. That's what I'm saying. It's over, like just over. But there's no, there's nothing genuine about it. No, it's just no. and it's so obvious. It's not a, it's not a bad song. Like no, the song you can is tell not there's bad. Fucking professionals wrote this. Yeah, but that's why I hate it. Yeah, it's like it, it just feels like like nine people got in a room. Like, this to me is the same as fucking, uh, you know, when they had What's-His-Face from Game of Thrones rapping Buster Rhyme shit yeah. for the Doritos commercial. Yeah, yeah. It's the same vibe to me. <clears throat> it also, like, 
it's really it's just really really hard for me to fuck with the ace family just because like everything they do all their oh. content is is centered around the fact that they're rich that's yeah. everything yeah is that they're rich everything they <sighs> do now is is anchored on the fact that they're rich and it's mm-hmm. like how can anybody fucking like get behind that you know i don't i don't get that at all because it it anyone else gets the fucking gets torched for that you know they get so much criticism like rice gum and the phase guys and jake paul and like every youtuber that like has money and like flexes it it's like ah you're a piece of shit like you don't deserve it yeah and it's just wild that they're so blatant about it and there's like this majority group of people that is like yeah no like they're i love it i know i don't i don't understand who is is it just kids is it people that want to have this life is that mostly who's watching them jesus christ dude two dance breakdowns in the middle of the shit and they're both what they are exactly 15 seconds probably exactly i bet you go to the first yeah 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 yeah. also what what is their spotify name fucking oh austin mcbroom and ace fam all right this shit starts at 151 ish call it 152 Let's see where it ends. Yeah. It's got to end at like 207 ish. 207 ish. And. Nah, it's way longer. Yeah, way longer. That was 15 seconds? Nah, it was like 25 almost. But it's like they're just just trying to make it stick. Yeah. Keep playing it. Turn the volume up again. Oh, no, we're going to get fucking copyrighted for this. Yeah. No, we could we'll just we'll just kill the track in the Okay. Yeah. Um Yeah, go listen to this fucking horse shit song. Literally. How much do you think this song. video how much do you think this video is? Nah, was? this video looks relatively cheap, man. I'm saying <clears throat> wardrobe looks like it's uh H and M, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say wardrobe is like man, max five hundred bucks. So this is like a one day or so you could have did this video for like five to seven k, easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, fair enough. I don't see them. <clears throat> I don't see them. Yeah, I don't see them doing a two day video shoot. No, <laughs> especially when they got fucking money to make, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, so back to the Copa thing. For the, those of you who don't know, or maybe you don't give a shit. I don't know. Is this inter- is it not interesting? I think it's interesting. It is. I just feel like stuff like this happens on YouTube and people love to like blow it out of proportion. Like this is the end of YouTube. This no. is fucking bad for everyone, but it's, no, it's and it always bad. ends up being not as bad as people think. 100%. And it always ends up being YouTube has definitely like thought this through more than people generally have, I feel like. Oh yeah. But I I still am not like, I'm not I'm not fully educated on on what it means. I just know <clears> that like animation channels and stuff are going to be yeah, are so- going to be uh like taking a hit for no reason, basically. Kind which of is sad. Yeah, I mean, so basically, like Google lost this loose lawsuit lawsuit with the F- FCC, and it's basically Google kind of got nailed for fucking like circumventing like all the laws that you know, like I guess how how advertising relates to children. Yeah, I believe that. So, they be, to my understanding is they say, "Hey, you fucking assholes, you." uh <laughs> You can't do that. You can't collect data on kids and then target them. Yeah, yeah. And you can't sell ads to them, you shitheads. Yeah. <laughs> because you can't do that on TV, so you definitely can't do that on the internet. Even though you kind of can do it on TV, because kids' channels have kid-targeted ads. They, um... It, they, they're not collecting data on kids, though. They're not collecting data on kids, but, like, even ads to kids... When was the last time, like, you've heard of a toy commercial? No, those are definitely around. Are they? Because, uh... uh yeah. Um, I'm not going to say who, but someone I know that works with ad trafficking, they, uh, it's not that you can't buy ads on kids' channels, but it's like the types of ads you can buy are very specific. Mm-hmm, like, okay. like you, like back in the day when you saw those ads of kids like playing with toys and shit, I don't think that's legal anymore. Okay. You know, you might see ads on kids' channels, but like this person I know that works in ad trafficking, they never consider like Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network or anything because they know they're not going to be able to get the ads placed mm-hmm. there. Okay. So, whatever. Basically, with Copa, um, now if you make kids-oriented content, you can't. You, your monetization is like drastically reduced. So it's it's not like a zero, but it's like you'll just make significantly less money. So it's like ads can still be placed on kids' content, but it's like v- very few kinds of ads. 
that's my and, understanding. And and the and the thing the bad part about this is that is that YouTube is basically putting the responsibility on, on the creator, the creator, not YouTube anymore, to determine what's a kids channel and what's not. Right. And so basically now, if a channel says that they aren't, but the FCC comes along and determines that they are collecting data on children or they're targeting children basically yeah then they'll find the creator and not youtube so yeah. people are potentially at risk of getting fined like tons of upwards money. of 50 grand just because they made a video that you know so-called was aimed at children yeah. or something along those lines yeah the the language they use is it is is the content kid appealing yeah which is like messed up for people that do animation animation or whatever that might not necessarily have like swear words in it or even gaming or, or gaming yeah gaming stuff yeah. too like is gaming t everyone watches gaming mm -hmm. but kids love gaming but so do adults yeah so is it is it kid appealing like or do you make kid videos if you make mm -hmm. it's it's very ambiguous that's mm -hmm. the problem i think but the reason why i bring them up i don't think youtube is necessarily dead in the water but i do feel like that they were like part of the ad uh, platform was like sustained off of cashing in off off of all these kids watching content and they're selling ads targeted ads on these like videos with crazy engagement yeah so i feel like the business <clears throat> takes a little bit of a hit in that regard like i'm sure you know will we see the effects of it probably not yeah they're not gonna let youtube die yeah but i think it's definitely gonna change youtube's like business strategy yeah. like okay fuck we're we were caking off the kids shit for like five years. Yeah. Now what the fuck are we going to do? Like, I'm sure it's a question they ask, but if anything, I just hope that the FCC, this is my wet dream that they go through like a backlog and then it's alphabetical. And at the top is ACE family. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they go, Oh yeah. All this shit is kid appealing and they're marketing to kids a shitload. Uh, so yeah, you're fucking, um, pay up motherfuckers i mean if anyone's fucked it's jake paul because he yes. was like recruiting children for his yeah. videos like yeah. that shit was fucked up and that mm -hmm. whole nerd, nerd city. city video about yeah. how he he is literally like advertising to ch children mm -hmm. for the vast majority of his content yeah yeah is pretty shocking so that's um, like that's where that's what i wonder is, is people like that or even fucking collins key yeah those videos oh, are, yeah. are a super kid appealing yeah yeah, yeah. all those bright colors yeah. and him acting like a five-year-old yeah. like what happens to guys like him? Are they going to get fucking nailed, like backlogged? Like, oh, you've just made how much money? Yeah, doing this type of shit. Yeah, nah, boom. You know what's funny about is that YouTube is that like they have these like gold rushes. Yeah, these phases where people yeah. make a fuck ton of money doing one thing, and then someone figures out that it's kind of messed up and cuts it off. Yep. Like I just feel like people that were making you know just normal videos like six years ago were caking yep or eight years ago yeah making like 50 grand a video yeah it's just all regular. the ads were going to them and then they were like oh, okay well now we got to figure out like targeting and mm -hmm. and whatever and so people and then like we got in right after the adpocalypse yeah when people started not making any money mm -hmm. and now like you know like ryan's toy reviews and shit that was like yeah. the most lucrative channel on youtube yep. and now probably not at all no no that's just gonna crater so it just makes me wonder like what the next fucking wave is and we got to get on that shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's this. Yeah, fucking giddy up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. I just, I, I fucking hate the whole Ace family. Like, they're just using kids for content. I think that shit is so garbage. It's like trash. They're making millions of dollars to what? To fucking flex? I mean, yeah, the, I don't. I don't think that, like, family vlogging is necessarily a bad thing. Like, I, I know that it, it is kind of messed up on the kids because they, they I think can't it's choose. weird. They can't yeah. choose. I don't I don't I don't I don't think But like be... there are a lot of families that like really resonate with that content. Like yeah. there's tons of fucking moms that love watching and dads that love watching like other families do shit, right? Yeah. Like if I maybe I don't know. I don't know actually. I would like I, to I know would... that. If people if people watch the Ace family because they aspire to have a family like that or because they do yeah. have a family like that. But the thing about their content is it's not about family it's about being fucking rich yeah that's what it's about yeah yeah it, it's so funny too because like i was like having a conversation over the weekend about like like what like we're, i think we're talking about like like athletes like burning all their cash yeah and my buddy was like dude he's like a couple million properly managed he's like that can last you so long mm -hmm. he's like he's like people just don't they just don't 
understand like living like keeping things the same as like income grows yeah you know it's like if they just keep things the same they can just live off that interest and it's like they're good yeah they can just retire early yeah but and it's just not fun it's not fun <laughs> no but you like you gotta buy fucking balenciaga yeah, yeah and you gotta buy a horse music yeah. video for <laughs> yeah. the baby you got a horse music video for your baby Dude. Who's a good whisper? Yeah, that's my boy Alan. Go whisper. That's my boy Alan. I just think that they're, I mean, they're making a fuckload of money now, but like yeah. to maintain their lifestyle. Yeah, I don't know, man. See where they're at in a couple of years. Mm, yeah, I don't know. They're interesting because they are really rich. I mean, their fucking house is insane, and yeah. But do you think they own it or they purchased it? They bought it. I mean, I owned it or rented. So they bought it. They yeah. bought that house, but like they what's, built it actually. I think. Yeah, but what's bought like a thirty-year mortgage? You're in, paying crazy interest and they paid cash for that fucking house maybe that house has to be like what 10 that house has to be 10 million yeah i don't know who even gives a fuck fuck their money they they suck i don't care jesus <laughs> i don't care man they they, they fucking blow i like, just i just don't understand it i just don't i don't get it i don't get who watches their videos and is like yeah. fuck yeah this is my shit yeah, I don't either. Let's watch the uh, Olivia Jade. <laughs> so, oh, you had it queued up. Speaking of money. Yeah. Speaking of what money can buy. Yeah. Dude, this video, I mean, I look at this. Full disclosure. I watched it. Yeah, me too. I watched it. Hundred and It's got an equal. That's weird as fuck. 116,000 wow. likes, 116,000 dislikes. Never seen that. Screenshot. <laughs> it's sick for the archives. Yeah, just for the archives. Um, <laughs> look at this art in the background. I think it's a subliminal message. Whoa. Freedom. Myself. Damn. Because I am my own. Uh, uh. See, right. this, this, you know, if you don't know who this is, this is. Um, this is USC's number one student. Rowing, um, rowing recruit. Rowing recruit. She uh, rode the shit out of her fake degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm, a, I'm off today. And she was a, she was a YouTuber. And so she didn't post for seven months after her, her mom went to jail and all this shit happened. Yeah. And she, now she's back. And yeah. so this is her I'm back again video. Hi again. Hi, everybody. It's Olivia Jade. Welcome. Oh, I didn't know it was you. Hi. Back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, I've been gone. Welcome back implies um, you've been waiting a very long time. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean yeah. like people are just have like a burning desire for Olivia Jade content for her to drop a new vid for a really long time and as much as I wish I could talk about all of this it's really hard for me to say this just because I know that it's something that needs to be addressed it's just unfortunately which is also why I didn't know exactly when I should come back to YouTube I, 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 I never under, understand the sitting on the floor filming yeah so style. uncomfortable <laughs> there's like just sit on the bed yeah so somewhere normal <laughs> something natural um but the reason for that is just because i'm legally not allowed to speak on anything going on right now a part of me is like should i come back to youtube right now because i it's been so long and i actually really really miss it like i genuinely miss filming i feel like a huge part of me is just not the same because this is something that I'm really passionate about and something I really like to do. Damn, doesn't it suck to have something you're really passionate about ripped away from you? That stinks, right? Yeah. Uh, but I also didn't know I debated for... Like Perhaps a single opportunity to better your life gets taken away from you and given to someone else <laughs> who's a rowing recruit. You weren't a rowing recruit so you don't get your chance seven or eight months like well if i can't talk about it is there a point in coming back and not being able to say anything i want to come back because i want to come back there's no point in me just talking for 10 minutes to the camera about how i wish i could say something when i really can't so i'm going to leave it at that thank you so much for your patience or if you've stuck around for nine months just waiting i really appreciate it this is the best i can do and I want to move on with my life and not trying to be in a selfish way. Uh, it's so hard because I'm not trying to like make this about me or like how I've been because it, it's not the point of this. Though I'm terrified to make this video and to come back, I know that I also want to start taking smaller steps in the right direction for people that have been DMing. 
and asking me. The moral of the story is I've missed the moral of the story. I miss you guys so much and I'm just really excited to start filming again and to start uploading and I really hope you enjoy the vlog. It's funny. That that's that's <laughs> That's Future like the, vlog, sorry, nervous, haha. -ha. <laughs> that's like the hardest fucking comeback video ever. Just like, mm. legally I can't say shit, but I'm back, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> she should have just fucking said that. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. In two minutes, she said, I can't talk about it. Sorry. Yeah. But guess what? Tough shit, I'm coming back. I'm back, whether yeah. you like it or not. She's like... And I'm doing this for me. Yeah, she's like this... Not for you. She's the 6'9 of white girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, stupid! Stupid! I'll make vlogs and make all videos, stupid. <laughs> it's yeah, funny because everyone clicked on that video being like, holy fuck, what's she going to say about the whole situation? Nada. Sorry, can't talk about it. Can't talk about it. <laughs> Nada. What's the top comment? Legally, not allowed, but I'm back. <laughs> She's achieved a balance in the force with the like-dislike ratio. <laughs> Do a collab with Felicity Huffman's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us exactly. <laughs> Dude, her next video. How to get into college. Oh! <laughs> yeah, my first time rowing. She just doubles down. <laughs> yeah. for, uh, rowing training. Hi, getting ready for a big um, rowing competition this weekend. Oh my god, what if it was all like subtly, like just backhanded? Yeah. Like, like, like she did like a workout vlog, but it's the whole thing is her on a rowing yeah. machine. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I love this machine. Yeah. Some people think I can't do this for some reason <laughs> and I'm more than capable of rowing, you fucking assholes. I can row, bitch. Yeah. Have you seen... <laughs> my, my mom is the full house mom. Who is her mom? I forget her, her mom is. I forget. Olivia Jade mom. Olivia Jade. Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin. Yeah. She went to jail, right? For two weeks? Or was that Felicity Huffman? That was Felicity Huffman. That's... Lori Laughlin sentence. 55 years. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she got face tats. She got like a hard ass <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Three life sentences. $62 million restitution payments. Whoa. Fuck. Damn. Jesus. Lori Laughlin concerned by hefty sentence for parent who pled guilty. Oh, there was another one. Marcia I don't give a fuck. Uh, let's see. Um, I gotta go, dude. You do? Yeah, I gotta get back to my dog. He's hungry. All right, wait a second. Him. Wait, let's see how how much time this fool got. Toby McFarland. <laughs> First of all, six months. She said hefty is six months. Bitch, you should hope you get six months. It's fraud, isn't it? Yeah. Wasn't that what they got charged on? Dude, whoa, get out of here. Hefty prison sentence. She's afraid she's gonna get eaten out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that too much? I'm sorry. Too much. Too much. Lord. Um this this was definitely a computer episode. Damn. No, but I these these are so much fun to do. It just feels natural. Yeah, does yeah. it? I never yeah, know, yeah. man. I feel like people want us to be like an hour of like zinger stand up. Dude, our fucking video conference episode is like one of the most viewed ones in, in recent in recent months. Episodes, yeah. Word. We fucking, first of all, we just, we, I just want our coins. I want our credit for the goddamn um, uh, Peloton episode. Oh, yeah. We nailed that first. Yeah, that one. Coins yeah. and credits. I know. Yeah, someone give us the credits for that. Yeah, internet. Please, e yeah, points. Give us the e points. All right, we're well over the time, but uh, thank y'all. Um, hope y'all like this one. Global yeah. Domination Tour next year. TinyMeTour.com. Yeah. Come out and see us. It's New Year's Eve fun. show. DC, Eve pull show. up, man. DC, pull, pull up. Fuck up. TinyMeTour.com. See you there. Love y'all. Peace. Gang, peace, Liddy.